Okay, um, I'm going to show you guys how to change your IP address. There's a few different methods. I'm going to show you two of them. The two most common ones, the two, the, these two work for most people. Um, if these don't work, if you have a router, don't watch this because I'll make them one for a router. It's completely different if you have a router. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to start. Then you're going to go to run. This is the first method. And you type in CMD like it is right there. And then you click OK. Now you're going to type in IP config. Press enter. You see my IP address right here? 71.83.48.213. Okay. Now just keep it in there pretty much. Now what I'm going to type in is this one doesn't work for me by the way, so it hardly works for me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, just you know, try this. It might work for you. Type in IP config forward slash R E L E A S E release. You want to release the IP address to your service provider. <coughs> um, keep in mind when you do this, you're going to lose internet. Don't worry, you can get it back. Um, you press enter. IP address is gone. It's going to tell me this stuff isn't connected. LimeWire will probably come up and tell me it's not connected. There it is. Um, anyways, now you're going to. Some people <coughs> can just do it and it will come back. New IP address. Some people, they have to wait an hour. Some people have to wait a few days. Um, if you have to wait an hour, this isn't your method then. You want to find a different one because um, this one just, it won't be fun if you have to wait an hour. So you type in IP config forward slash renew. <coughs> Renews your IP address. <coughs> wow. Uh, gives you a new IP address. Mine didn't work. Uh, never does. <laughs> Hardly ever does. I'm going to keep this window up just so we can keep my current IP address right there. Um, I'm going to go start, run, type in command. Okay, you have this command prompt right here. I'm going to type in IP config forward slash release. Okay, zeros and zeros, which means that it's gone. The IP address is completely gone. I'm going to go to start, right click on my network places, I'm going to click properties. <coughs> then under uh, <coughs> local area connection, right click and I'm going to click properties. Now you're going to scroll down to the bottom, internet protocol. Double click on that. Use the following IP address. Just hold the one button down. He'll fill them up. Press tab. Fills up submit mask. Click OK. Click OK. Now it's going to try to assign that one one IP address. Now it just tried to assign it. Now you're going to go to properties. And then you're going to scroll down. Internet protocol. Obtain IP address automatically. Click OK. Click OK. It's crucial that you click OK for the second for the second part of that. Um, now you should have a new IP address. I'm going to check my IP address. Oh, I should check it in the other one. Okay. Um, see, now there's this is thing called an IP address range. Now it didn't completely change my IP address, but there is a difference. This one is 71.83.48.213. This one is 71.83.50.121. So it's within the same range, but it is a different IP address. <coughs> now, let's say you got banned from a Ventrilo server and you need to get back in. Um, the way you would do that is you would um, you want to change your IP address. Most admins would ban you by IP address, not by a range. If you keep coming back, they're going to ban you by range. But the, this method, I mean, I've gotten different IP address ranges, and, you know, I've done it and then, like, tried to get back in, and it said, you're on the ban list, and I was like, oh, I must have the same range. I tried it again and got in. So, you just gotta keep trying it until you get, like, what IP address you want, or, like, the same range that you want. Um, this might not work for routers, but if it if it does, that's great. I'm gonna put up something for routers, because there's a l different methods for that. Anyways, uh, I should have that up soon, okay? Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to change your IP address using your router. Let's go to our computer. We're going to open up our web browser. And you first have to be on the same network as your router, either by wirelessly accessing it or being plugged into it. What we're going to open up is the IP address of the router, which is usually 192.168.1.1. 
1.1.1. Now it's going to ask you for your administrator password on the router. By default, it's usually admin and admin. I'd suggest you change your password if you have not already. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the status tab. This is a Linksys router, which is a very common type of router. And what we're going to want to do is release the IP that we already have by clicking on this IP release. Now my router is not currently connected to the internet, but if it was, I would have had IP address and all this other information displaying here as well. When you release it, it's dropping your internet connection which will effectively disconnect all of your computers and laptops and other devices uh, from the internet. So the next step after that is to do an IP renew. Now that will send out a signal to your internet service provider that says you want to refresh your IP address and you're asking for a new one. Now it's up to them whether they give you a new one or the same one that you had previously. So it's important to maybe release your IP address wait about 30 minutes or an hour for them to cycle through their addresses and then execute this renew process. Keep in mind that they hold all the cards and if they continue to give you the same IP address over and over again, you should probably call them and request a new one. I'm Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to change your IP address using your router.